I'm going to walk through the background, kind of who we are and, and the surveys we did, which then led into the mental health risk factors and research and the research we did to understand what was happening. How do you expand mental health support? What does culturally informed, trauma-informed healthcare support, mental health support look like? When you look at the big picture, when you look at the surveys and the journey of an immigrant, um, some of the larger challenges, you know, accessing healthcare, um, uh, the struggle with maintaining that full-time employment or insecurity in their job, the business viability concerns for their business, the racism, trying to learn English. Now more people are work permit coming in as work permit, not eligible. So that has become more of an issue. And altogether that um, combines into and on top of inflation, paying mortgage and rent as housing prices have surged. And then you dig through the layers of that. And what does that look like? It looks like family conflict and depression, concern for children, um, isolation and grief and, uh, and uh, uh, disconnection from cultural communities. From early fall, um, the work of Peel region began to impact and influence us and has had a lasting impact. Your um, information provided us the roadmap for moving forward. There is the one-on-one -on -one counseling support. There is the self-assessment tool and the discussion around interpreters. On top of that, well-being promotion was, was, is critical and group education, large group, small group, practical topics, parenting, relationships, culture shock, managing stress, coping strategies, practical topics like managing winter, um, uh, new school uh, opportunities, anything, and inserting mental health support within those acceptable topics. And also that focus on the helpline to continue to advocate for an improved helpline. So the key findings are the mental health stigma, um, work-related stress, reasons for not seeking help, and the kinds of help respondents need most. What stood out to me from every single cultural community, they all said the same thing. They said, touch the heart, speak to our heart. Each participating culture is looking for a warm and empathetic counseling approach, like a pre-counselor, helping get people comfortable with initial conversations on mental health, ed educating on mental health and reaching out into communities to share insight, to tell them where to look for help and to encourage them to come in and ask for help. Recently, Minister Fraser had said one in four Canadians are immigrants. So this is this is a huge opportunity to really change the mental health landscape.